Today was Jobs Day, uh, and we'll get the numbers eventually. We've talked in the past about labor shortages in the restaurant industry. You know, we've seen them in the retail sector, Walmart, Target. How severe is this a problem? I know you follow it's, it very closely. I think it's very severe. I mean, uh, if, if you want to... So let's take it from a, eco, a global economic point of view. If we want the economy to grow, people want to build stores, they need to be able to find people to work in the stores. If those people don't exist, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. If, if you want to run a great Dunkin' Donuts, you want to have great customer satisfaction, or I prefer to call it customer delight, you need to have people. And if you can't get people, that's the problem. And I don't think anyone's addressing this problem. I mean, great, if, if, the, if the unemployment numbers come out with the good news today, which we hope for the economy, sure. it could even be worse news for our industry. And I also read the construction industry is struggling to find people. This is bad news for the economy. We need to find a way of finding more workers. How do you get them to take that job at a Dunkin'? You know, we, Walmart is play, paying more, all the retailers are paying more. How, are they, how do you say, hey, come work for us as opposed to those guys? Well, I, I think several. Firstly, and I think you and I have talked about it before, 10.5% is the latest number I have on youth unemployment, which I think is 18 to, no, 16 to 24. So you encourage people to come in because they learn a lot of basic disciplines. They learn how to deal with customers. They learn how to turn up. They turn up how to work shifts. They turn up how to use computers, all that kind of stuff. 